Hi, I'm Faye Mark from the University of California Marin Master Gardeners. Today I'm going to show you how to create and maintain a beautiful fire smart landscape. Most traditional residential landscapes include foundation plantings and large trees and shrubs near the house. We're used to this look, but it turns out there are better ways of organizing your landscape that may help protect your home when a wildfire is burning nearby. We're often asked the question, what are the safest plants? Truth is, all plants burn. When it comes to fire smart landscaping, it's much more important to consider where a plant is situated and how it is maintained than to assume some plants are better than others. The area within five feet of your house is the most critical. During a wildfire, embers can travel long distances. They tend to collect near the base of a home's exterior walls and will ignite anything that burns. To avoid that, we recommend minimizing anything that can burn in this area, including wood mulch and plants. This also means moving items like firewood, lumber, patio furniture, and garbage cans. Clearing this area of combustibles is like creating a force field that defends your home against fire. This is a whole new way to think about landscaping since many of our homes have plantings right up against the walls and foundation. Just take it step by step. Start by removing plants in front of sliding glass doors or windows and remove any wood mulch. Next, focus on taller plants under eaves and vines climbing on your house. Low growing or ground hugging plants are less likely to cause a problem. Just be sure they're well hydrated and free of dead or dry material. Beyond five feet from the house, it's all about maintenance. The goal is to create defensible space that acts as a buffer between your house and your garden. It means looking at your garden with slightly different eyes. First, you want to interrupt the path of a fire by creating horizontal and vertical spacing between plants. That sounds complicated, but it's really not. You can create horizontal space by adding stepping stones, paths, patios, or walls. Any non-combustible surface between plantings helps stop the path of a fire. They can be as simple as gravel paths or as complicated as a low stone wall. The idea is to think of your planting beds as clumps or islands with non-combustible surfaces providing separation to keep a fire from spreading along the ground. Vertical spacing is about stopping fire ladders. Fire ladders are when fire from lower plants spreads to nearby taller plants. If you stroll through your garden, are there places where shrubs are close to low tree canopies? If so, try to create space between them. Limb up trees and keep shrubs pruned. It's an easy and important way of interrupting a fire's path. The density of plantings provides another clue about how a fire could travel through your garden. You want to have a little breathing space in your garden. Consider breaking up hedges and large swaths of uninterrupted plantings to stop fire in its tracks. Another good rule of thumb is to keep low growing plants closer to the house and taller plants away from the house. Second, you want to reduce your garden's fuel load. This is a fancy way of saying, keep your garden cleaned up. Anything that burns is fuel for a fire. Diseased, dried, or overgrown trees and shrubs have more fuel than well-pruned trees and shrubs. So do weeds, leaves, and pine needles in roof gutters and debris that's gathered under decks. Keep things cleaned up to starve fire of fuel. As we like to say, don't be fuelish. Don't worry, you don't need to pick up every last leaf on the ground. Just be on the lookout for excess fuel, being extra vigilant the closer you are to your home or other built structures. Do you see plant material that would be useful for starting a campfire? If so, that's probably a good clue that it needs to be removed. Step into your garden and look up. Do you see tree branches near the roof line? Try to keep branches 10 feet from your roof or chimney and definitely not touching the walls of your house. That way you'll avoid a buildup of needles and leaves on your roof and your rain gutters. Are there any diseased, dead, or dried shrubs or trees that need to be pruned or removed? Now look down. Are paths clear of debris? Do plants look healthy and hydrated? Plants that are properly hydrated are more resistant to fire and to pests and diseases. Even some drought resistant plants may need a little supplemental water during extended dry periods. What about mulch? A layer of mulch improves soil quality, regulates soil temperature, 
reduces weeds, and helps retain water. Use non-combustible mulches like stone or gravel within five feet of any structure, including decks and sheds. Further out, choose larger composted wood chips and avoid applying mulch greater than two inches deep. Now let's talk about choosing plants, a favorite topic for master gardeners. We recommend plants that don't need much water, are easy to maintain, and that contribute to the ecological health of the surrounding area. We also suggest avoiding plants that are messy or invasive, like ivy and pampas grass, meaning they grow or spread so fast it's hard to keep them under control. Remember, you're trying to reduce your fuel load. Start by assessing your garden's growing conditions, such as sun exposure and climate, and then select plants that thrive in that environment. In other words, choose the right plant for the right place. Don't worry, we have tools to help you with that. Just visit the UC Marin Master Gardener website to learn more. We even have plant lists that you can print and take to the nursery. We also have demonstration gardens where you can check out dozens of plants firsthand that are beautiful, colorful, and suitable for our Marin microclimates. Visit us at the Falkirk Cultural Center in San Rafael and at Harvey's Garden at Blackie's Pasture in Tiburon. That's it. Thanks for joining me and congratulations on taking the first step towards creating a gorgeous, thriving, fire smart landscape. Happy gardening.